Welcome guys, well, day's come where we are heading up to Cape Rienga. Um, you can see here it is going to be a bit of a mission, or it is a bit of a mission, getting out of the camp, especially on a motorbike. You've got to have a swipe card to uh, lift up this bloody um, pole here in front of us. And uh, yeah, holding up the old golden chariot and uh, reaching out with the old swipe card is a bit of an art. But uh, yeah, after a while, you kind of get it sorted. Wait for it. There we go. Oh, well, guys, as you can see, the first uh, leg of our trip north was a little bit damp <laughs> not that pleasant to riding conditions but uh, wasn't too bad to be honest and uh, it uh, managed to clear up not far down the track so uh, yeah it was all good that's actually our good friend Bryce and Jenny from Kaitaia up front uh, they rode up in the morning to uh, do the ride with us up to the Cape so uh, great to have their company along the way Uh, here we are just north of uh, Tikau. Um, yeah, pretty awesome roads as you can see. Out there in the distance is the upper reaches of the Parenga Renga Harbour. A lovely big harbour, most northern harbour in uh, New Zealand. Beautiful roads as you can see. So um, yeah, we're certainly enjoying the ride, that's for sure. Here we are guys, just coming up to Waitiki Landing. Um, it's basically the last sort of shop north, last fuel, more importantly, north. So yeah, you want to make sure you've got enough gas to get to Cape Ranga and back to at least here. Um, otherwise you're going to get yourself into a world of trouble. Alright guys, the area we're just coming into now is Tipaki. Um, yeah, this is where you turn off to go to the world famous uh, Tipaki Stream slash sand dunes yeah the old sand dunes are a good place to uh, blaze down on a boogie board uh, very popular for the tourists the thing is you've got to climb up to them in that really soft thick sand to uh, be able to turn around and surf back down so you only probably do it once or twice and that's generally enough just a safety tip guys if you're driving down the tipaki stream don't stop in the wet sand. <laughs> yeah, your vehicle will just vibrate down through the wet sand and then when you go to take off, the wheels will just dig straight down and that'll be the end of your wagon. Uh-oh. Yeah, so make sure you park on the hard, dry sand. So obviously I'd been talking up the view uh, to Dave and Deb from uh, Cape Ranga out towards the Three Kings and uh, watching the two seas clash together. But uh, unfortunately, uh, this was our view when we arrived at uh, Cape Rianga. Just a wicked old sea fog had come in and you couldn't see about 20 feet in front of you. So uh, yeah, you, you'll see here when we get up here, this is the view <laughs> towards the lighthouse. Somewhere down there is the Cape Rianga lighthouse. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we did uh, venture down to the lighthouse thought we'd better at least get down there and uh show dave and deb that there is a lighthouse here in cape ranga and uh grabbed a few photos and then uh mooched back righto guys as you can see it's back on the bikes and heading south get out of this bloody sea fog looking at the weather I thought it would be fairly quiet up at the Cape today, but as you can see, she was pretty bloody busy. So those were friends of ours, Tan and Carrie, that uh, camped right next to us. They came up in the car uh, up to the Cape with us and, uh, yeah, stopped on the side of the road, as you can see, two or three times, and got a few shots of us going past. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Here we are, just coming up to the uh, village of Tikau. Um, if you ever want to stop and have a bloody huge ice cream, call into the Tikau store here like we did, 
and order yourself up an ice cream. You certainly get your fair share, that's for sure. Alrighty guys, we're coming into township of Pukanui, which is on the um, Hauwara Harbour, which is the same um, harbour as what our campsite is on. Pukanui is probably about a, I don't know, 4 or 5k drive from our campsite. Um, it's got a four square and a, a restaurant and a bar so and um, wholesalers. So uh, it's got everything you need there. There's also a uh, ice company right at the back of the four square. Uh, so if you ever need to uh, pick up some bags of ice, that's the place to go. I'll see you right. It's where we uh, get all our ice from. We don't have any power at our campsite, so uh, uh, we just use the big bins full of ice and uh, just to keep all the food and uh, beverages nice and cool. There's a good shot of Mount Camel, which is the uh, the mount that uh, we basically look right across to from our camp, just to give an idea of uh, where about we are in the harbour. So we're just going past the Hohora Big Game and Sport Fishing Club. Uh, yeah, if you ever want to go and have a decent feed, that's the place to go. Um, not sure of their opening hours, but uh, I know we normally go there on Friday night, Saturday night, and uh, you certainly have a good old feed. We've got a long way home. We've got a ticky tour of the harbour. See what's happening out there. can't say I'm not one to deliver. When we got back from our trip up to the Cape, we uh, all piled into Tan's car and headed into the town of Awanui for a catch up with some of uh, our friends from Kaitaia. had quite a social afternoon slash evening with them. And uh, afterwards, we all piled in the car again and went straight to McDonald's for tea. And would you believe it, when we walked into McDonald's, here was this photo up on the wall of the view that we had failed to see from Cape Ringer. You can see the uh, lighthouse on the uh, right hand side of the photo. Uh, yeah, so there you go. So uh, yeah, this is Tan and Carrie's caravan to our left here. There's ours. That's Deb's Triumph Tiger. And then past the old golden chariot. Just so I'll give you a bit of a shot of our uh, campsite. There's our little bloody pergola where we have our social evenings cooking bloody area. Dave's big GS1250 beast. And there's our bloody awesome view of uh, Mount Camel and uh, a little swimming spot down there. She's a pretty neat spot. <laughs> New Year's Eve 2023. Very quiet at the moment. 